If you want to live, here. get off the beach! Omaha Beach in offensive game mode went live just a few hours ago and I hit the beaches as soon as I could. Here we go. Welcome to Control Piers Gaming, where we're all about helping you find those awesome, epic moments in your favorite creative games, just like Hell Let Loose. And today, with the launch of the Omaha Beach map, you know I couldn't wait to get my hands on the game, get the update downloaded, and hit the beach. I played for a couple of hours from both the American and the German perspective, and I wanted to share with you my initial impressions of the map, my initial impressions of the offensive game mode, and talk a little bit about where the game stands right now. First, I started playing as an American soldier invading Omaha Beach and I went right down the center on Dog Beach. And as soon as I spawned into the amphibious assault craft, I immediately had an enormous appreciation for the scale that the developers went for with this specific Omaha Beach map. We all immediately reflect fondly to those historic scenes from films like Saving Private Ryan, and we all think back to the games like Medal of Honor and Call of Duty and those other games that have done D-Day either from the paratrooper or the amphibious assault perspective. And so it's really tough for any new game to try to compete with those fond nostalgic feelings we have, not to mention the historic grandeur of the battle itself. Well, Hell Let Loose pleasantly surprised me by delivering an authentic, amazing, grand experience where you can absolutely appreciate the scale and the visceral nature of that arduous day on June 6, 1944. When the ramp dropped, I was immediately engaged by relatively accurate machine gun fire from the bluffs to the front. It was far enough away that it didn't create an unfair tactical advantage with respect to how the game is actually played, but the engagement was still decisive and dangerous in enough that it forced me to return fire and move from cover to cover and there was even a couple of moments where I was watching the guys around me become engaged and you had that sense of danger uh, as you saw the guys around you falling so that was a really really well done. After fighting my way off the beach, I found myself in the French farmland on the far side of the beach itself, fighting across trenches and open fields through a series of hedgerows that were also incredibly difficult to navigate. The combat, once you get off the beach, is much more evenly matched as it absolutely should be, and you can feel the pitch and the momentum of the battle swing. Once we got across the beach and into that area, the engagements became much more close quarter and much more even and still a lot of fun. There was a couple moments where I found myself in really close range engagements such that I ended up employing hand grenades and actually sending some limbs and stuff flying and it's the great hell let loose experience that you still expect from the game. Look at this Garen. Garen's After that, I actually took command of my team and ended up helping the team fight their way onto an objective by using a danger close bombing run that was right in front of me in the section that I was directly next to. And me and just a couple of the other guys were the only ones who were able to fight through the smoke and actually get into the trench. And it was really an epic moment. Honestly, we can get a bombing run just down that hole of character. All right, I'm probably gonna kill some friendlies with this one, but uh, I'm sending it. Bombs coming in. Jake, fire support marker north to south along the front line trace of that trench. Bird is inbound. Bombs will be away in 10 seconds. Prepare to push, guys. Prepare to push. This is your chance. Send it, send it, send it. This is it. Let's go. Into the front. Father here, chuck your smoke grenades if you have them. Make sure to chuck the door. Maybe we're gonna get in there. 
After I finished playing as the Americans, I went ahead and I spawned as the Germans. I grabbed an STG-44 and I found my way to the bluffs overlooking the Omaha Beach and I found a good firing position. The scale was just as large as it was from the American perspective and it was absolutely beautiful and devastating. You can see the amphibious assault craft approaching the beach and you're just seeing a couple of pixels as the Americans disembark in the ramp drop, but you can still accurately engage those moving targets. But what was really helpful was my section leader was using binoculars and dropping icons on where he wanted our machine gun to engage and then giving him up, down, left, right adjustments so that our MG42 was even more lethal while the Americans were trying to fight their way up the beach. Once they actually got up to the seawall, I found myself this little outcrop on the cliffs and I managed to mow down like four or five guys right in a row. And it was another one of those really awesome moments that kind of felt unfair and just brutal and visceral, but still absolutely enjoyable and really fun combat. They're danger close, so as soon as you get in, they're right north. Leonard, copy. We're kind of a nice little funky flank, hold on. Trust me, I got I'm, I got fire right into an enemy uh, garrison as well. Come on, come on, go, go, go. So let's talk a little bit about how the offensive game mode works. So in the past, there's either been a there's been a push and a pull in Hell Let Loose, where the teams could both take terrain and take objectives and kind of push back and forth. The Omaha Beach map is the first map that uses the offensive game mode, which requires the American team to attack and the German team to defend. It's the perfect map to do it, and it's really well executed. You'd think that balance would be an issue on a map like Omaha Beach, because the Germans have the obvious tactical advantage, and the American Americans seem to have this impossible uphill battle. I did not find that to be the case. In the two rounds where I played as the American forces, the first round we were able to penetrate the beach and actually fight all the way to a victory not too long later. The second round was much different and we could barely get off the beach and we ended up being defeated at the first set of objectives immediately on the other side. Because of the range of the engagements that are occurring on the beach and the effectiveness of American fire support, I think that this battle is relatively evenly matched. It's still asymmetric. It's still somewhat of a disadvantage for the American team but not such that it makes the game less fun. And that's what it's all about. The game is supposed to be fun and it achieves that. Hell Let Loose has successfully delivered a high quality Omaha Beach experience that still pays homage to those who serve and to all of those games and other experiences that you've enjoyed when simulating the battle in Normandy. So bravo to Hell Let Loose and the developers. I'm really enjoying the way that this game is going and I look forward to playing more of it in the future. Speaking of playing more of it in the future, here at Controlled Pairs Gaming, we're all about helping you find those epic moments in your favorite creative games, just like Hell Let Loose and Postscriptum and Insurgency Standstorm and Kerbal Space Program, games that make you earn the great times that you have in them and they don't hold your hand. So if that sounds like something that you're all about, I hope you enjoyed this next video and I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel or join us in my Discord server so we can hang out sometime. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.